out here in the shop on a Sunday. So Friday, I got uh, the wife got the mail and I got my part for the bike that I had ordered, and it was fifty-eight dollars and nine cents, and it's a used computer slash brain for my bike. This covers the 2012, 13, 14, and 15. And mine in there has this bracket on too, and I believe it's for emissions if they sell these uh, Suzuki Boulevards in California. If they sell it in another state, deliver it to that state for sale, then they don't have to have it. And I looked on the pictures before I bought it on eBay, counted all the pins, counted the pins in mine and looked at it and he said it was for 2012. So I said, hey, I'll take a chance on it because you can imagine if you bought one of these at the dealers, what that thing would cost. Oh, hundreds and hundreds of dollars, gotta be. So I took my old wiring and I plugged it in to see if it fit, fit perfect. Uh, the plugs went in and everything. First, I'm going to set the throttles on it, like I said, going by the cables, and also something else. While I'm going through all this, I have the tank off, and I empty, I always empty the gas tank to take it off, because I don't want to bump it, so afraid of getting a, you know, mark on it. So what I did was, I got the tank laying here, and I thought, while I'm at it, I'm going to flip it over, take the underside of the gas tank part off and that has your pump and your filter for your gas your actual fuel pumps in there so I thought I might as well show it maybe somebody wants to know it and know what they're up against now like I said this is a 2012 so the early ones might have a pump on the outside I don't know they might be a little different but anyway I thought I'd throw it up there for anybody that has a problem that wants to check like I'm doing but I keep thinking it's that computer. Just the way it acts, the way it don't want to idle. I don't know. I'm trying everything. And I know the sensor out to the air filter works good because when I showed the other video and I had it unplugged, that uh, C, I think it's C21 comes up and it says about that sensor's either, you know, they always say check the wiring on it. It could be bad, but check to make sure it's plugged in and the wiring's good and follow it back. So I knew that that's good because it's registering. So the only thing now is to move on to the tank and then I'll set the uh, cables. Then I'm going to get the book out and start looking again if there's anything else I can go through to check. Then I think I'm going to go ahead and put that computer in last. I'd like to maybe run it like this. You know, when I do the tank and do the setting of the throttles and everything, but I got everything opened up. Uh, to get the computer out, I don't think you have to take the tank off. I could put it back in, try to run it, and see how it works. But I think, all in all said, I think I'm just going to go ahead, while I'm doing this, put that other computer in. But I kind of think that's a problem. If that don't solve it, I don't know. <laughs> uh, so here's working on the underside. So of the tank. we're looking at the underside of the bike. Uh, this is your unit that comes off and under here for a gasket is a large o-ring now by the book they say anytime you take this off buy a new o-ring well I'm going to see how good it is and they also want to grease on it to put it back when you put it back they say they have a Suzuki grease I have some marine grease I think I'll put on it so first of all you need a five millimeter Allen key to take these out there's uh, five of them five of them to come out so I'll take them out I have the five bolts out now you can't simply just pull this out it has to come out and it's almost like a puzzle the way the inside goes over to get the lowest point to pick up the fuel and it's all in how you do it I'm trying to think it's better this way 
Okay. You can see I turned it to my right and I'm getting more of it up, up out of here. Okay. Then over here, if you can see it, there's a connector that has to be unplugged for the uh, pump and probably the gas gauge too. Yep, they come right off. Let me get a paper towel. I want to wipe it off. And if you can see down in here, right there is the rubber O-ring. Right in there that goes clear around. And uh, they say to replace it, but I'm going to look at it. It's it's flattened a little bit. Maybe that's why they want you to put a new one on. Uh, I think I'm going to go with it because I should have a new one. But I imagine you go to the dealer. Okay. Now, here's some off-road bikes out there, guys. Right. You see how I'm turning this as I come out? Holy man, you gotta... It's like a puzzle. There it is. And there's the unit. It sets in there... like this. If you have your tank, this is the back, that is the front. This goes on the right side, and you can see the filters in here, where it sucks the fuel in. Here is your fuel pump over on here. There's a holder here, but there's no pipe in it. There's one over here. It must be maybe for a different model or something. The electric little uh, electric lines off of here. So, take two screws out. This cover comes off to see the fuel filter. The fuel filter's right in there. But what I'm saying is this sets like this. When you go to put it back in, remember, the connectors go up in the right-hand corner, up here. Like if this was north, this would be northeast a little bit. Where these go, and that'll be in right. This comes down because it goes inside here on the side to uh, get the lowest point for the fuel. And that's a unit right there. Not much to get it out. It's just a little angling while it's out. I can clean the o-ring and it says use a certain Suzuki grease and like I said gre they say grease this well it's dry now so I don't know they mustn't have put any in when it was new put grease on it but I'll put I think I have a little bit of marine grease something like that I can put on it and rub in I'm not gonna gob it up just enough I think to keep this pliable and soft wipe that groove out real good where it goes Now I can set the tank down and work on the uh, pump and everything. And that's the unit, what it looks like. Amazing. <laughs> so far, so good. So let me get this. Well, the tank, I can slide it up there and work down here. That's what I'll do, put something down for this unit. Man, you'll have to excuse the noise today. My God, there was a plane went over. I think it was a flyer that I used to fly with. He went over low. Neighbors up there doing something. Two of them making noise. A tractor went down past from the farm. Everybody's out today. So, there's a screw here and a screw here. I'm going to take off to get this uh, protector off. When I uh, took this out just a minute ago, and that there was a little bit of like fuzz on here, and I pulled it, it was like lint almost. It must have filtered on there, getting lint from something. You know, I open the gas tank and fill it and close it right back up. So I don't know, just maybe lint in the air, just a little wee bit. So this cover comes off. Now you can see this looks like a little bag. That's your filter. I'm putting it so the sun's shining through it. The sun just come out at the right time. And it looks like it comes up and over 
it's like in here there's a piece comes up and over and it pulls the uh, fuel right out of there but this is your pump uh, I guess to remove it you loosen this screw because that's the bracket on it it looks like it just lifts out of here uh, you might have to take these two screws off to move this to get that pump out but it unplugs right there. there's a plug on it that you can unsnap if you'd want to replace the uh, fuel pump this here I'm not sure what that is it looks like a it almost looked like a maybe a one-way valve that's where the fuel comes in down to the fuel fuel pump yeah so I'm not sure what that does but anyway that thing looks really clean it's really maybe I'll take it outside and shoot shoot a little carb cleaner on it before I put it back together boy that's clean everything's really clean looks great the fuel pump must be working because I can't imagine it being where it wouldn't work on idle but it would work on full throttle because full throttle it's pumping a lot of fuel and I do have through uh, full throttle really great on this so I think what I'm gonna do is put this back on and put it back together I'll take this out first and clean it then I'll put it back in and you also have to watch because there's an up in that tank I had the tank laying this way on the left side well I'll show it before I put it back on there's another unit uh, I'm trying to think of what it's for maybe have to look in a book something very important on this I just found out when I took this cover off went to put it back on I put it on I can't get that screw in there no way well here I looked this is threaded right on this metal piece right here if you look over there it's down in this brackets on top of it so I took the two screws I thought they look the same one is just a hair longer this one's a hair longer than the other one so that one goes over here where this brackets at I had the shorter one that's why I couldn't get it in unbelievable never expected that but this one down here is just oh my it's just like maybe one or two threads longer yep went right in so that's a warning on taking this off let me get these two screws in then I want to show something else on here and when I since I had that fire I checked these wires here real good and they're a little marked but they're not burnt uh, the coatings good I took off the sheathing to check and I put this sheathing on to make sure that they're good and when that's setting in there it's setting like this okay that's the way you would see it when you're taking it off if you've got that's the front and that is the back and the wiring goes through and on the other side you can see where they're bolted on so if you'd ever have to change them and the one the color of the wires if we're looking at it like this this one's red this one's black this one's yellow with uh, a red stripe then this is the ground the this uh, black one with a, I think it has a white thin white stripe on it red black yellow with red stripe black with white is a ground that's the way these go so everything looks good on there I'm ready to put it back on now by the book if you had to replace a fuel pump they tell you like this screw here you have to take out for the bracket to get it off put it back and use some Loctite and also when you're finished putting this in these bolts around here use Loctite and you want to use blue Loctite not red 
so that way if you ever have to get it off and for the o-ring they definitely say put a new one in and let me see over here at the book it says uh, about the grease that you put on it apply Suzuki super grease a to a new o-ring and fit the o-ring into the channel in a tank okay but I'm not going to put a new o-ring in it and I think the best grease I found for this is I looked in the back I have all kinds and I have this red extra pressure Staplex premium red grease CRC I have that back here so I think I am going to go with it and it should be all right but it's up to you you know if you're doing this maybe you want to get the grease from uh, Suzuki they might have like just a little package of it and I'm greasing this up then when you put the unit back in and you tighten your bolts down here you have to torque them 88 inch pounds uh, torque on those and I believe I have uh, the stuff to do that okay I got that greased up I'm gonna lay it back in there and you can see it looks like it's a little too big but you just push the sides now I didn't gob it way up I just put enough on it to cover it wipe it rub it in there and that should do it I think that'll work good so now you just put it back in the way we took it out I'm gonna start by that goes in there like that I'm gonna start and almost turn it over like this to get this down in there I gotta get this cord here towards the back and that unit that this cord goes up in here is right over in this side so you want to watch when you put it in put this thing kind of that way so you don't bump this over here I just want to get that out of the way there so far so good now I want to plug my electronic back in it's in now I can start just trying to work it you can feel a fight in you because you just don't have it the right angle this goes over there it is now I'm gonna put I don't know if you can see it but that electric thing I plugged in that plug has to go down in there there it's down in there there now because of that weight of that filter and unit over here it always wants to go this way it wants to tip this way on you so as you put it together you have to kind of pull it up and hold this part level to get it down and I want to get a couple of the bolts ready and I'm just gonna put the bolts in like this now just to hold it there then I'll put other the other bolts in with Loctite take these two back out then of course you t tighten it crisscross pattern don't just keep going around like this but crisscross it pulls it down even so I have two bolts there they don't have Loctite on yet but that's okay and there I'm I'm pulling it that way to hold it level the o-rings in I'm just gonna screw these down to hold it right there and it wasn't bad getting in and out thing of it is just don't fight it just kinda angle it and play with it and it'll go in okay now before I do anything I got these down I got them just finger tight to hold it there I'm gonna look this way at this ring out here and see if this looks level if it's cocked a little bit one way or the other I'll know the o-ring isn't in position and I look under there and the spacing from this to the tank under here is even the whole way around I can even feel it if it's a little cocked, pick it up your o-ring come out a little bit but everything's in place so now I put Loctite this uh, this is blue Loctite make sure it's blue 
and it only takes a, like a drop of this sometimes see even a drops too much I'll rub my finger over and get some of it off that's all you need you don't have to gob that way up okay that one's in there and the way I have my thing positioned with the uh, connect the wires up here it was about uh, what is it the uh, between the one and two clock position I'd say this this unit of wires so it's right where I had it now this one I can snug down a little better I'll put an, another one across from it wipe some excess off where's my Allen key Now, these two have Loctite, so right away I want to take these back out so I don't forget Loctite on them. Kind of like, uh, you know, vibration and that, they want this all Loctite and that. That's like when I had my aircraft and I was working on it. You Loctite everything, but uh, everything, you know, on it, a lot of it was... Uh, safety wired where you'd put bolts in especially the prop you've seen it on airplanes there's holes drilled through and then there's safety wire and they have to be pulling so they pull the bolts tight that was you know when I used to redo it but mostly the the bike is because of vibration they want Loctite on it Uh, what do they do with the last one right here? Okay, I'm just snugging them up a little bit. There, they're just snugged. Now, I'll go get my torque wrench, torque them down to 88 inch pounds, 88 inch pounds. 10 numerical, I think that stands for the NM10 numerical, 88 inch pounds. And that'll be all done. I don't believe it had anything to do with the idling on this, but hey, every little thing helps. Uh, you just never know. It's worth a try. So I hope this helps somebody to show, you know, the, the, where the fuel pump is and all that in there. If you think it's it, you know, at least you know what you're up against. <laughs> and I'm doing this, so I might as well put it on YouTube, because one time I had thought about the fuel pump, new to this bike, and the first thing was, you know, I'm not sure where it was. Get the book, look it up, look it up. But the climber book shows you everything about it. I have my bolts in this torqued down, and they say in the book 88 inch pounds. Well, that comes out to about 7.3333. <laughs> so it's a little over 7 foot pounds on these. A little bit over 7 foot, foot pound, you'll be fine. And I happen to have these from Harbor Freight. Uh, they have the Allens or metric, so it takes number five. And one other thing uh, a lot of people maybe never seen was in using a torque wrench. On my Harley, you have to get up in there to torque the heads. If you put new head gaskets in, you repair the bike. This will not fit. That's a pretty thin uh, thing. It won't fit. So what I bought was this. It looks like an extension and it's a 9 sixteenths and what it does is, I found this on eBay is you put this on your torque wrench now it's not just an extension if I'm going to tighten that and I use this at a 90 degree and say I need like 20 pounds pressure, foot pounds it'll give me 20 foot pound pressure I can turn it 90 degrees from this it's very important. 
I can pull on it to tighten, it'll give me my 20 pounds, foot pounds that I need, say if that's what you're setting out. But if you were to turn this at an angle like this, your reading's going to be off. If it's this here, or if it's, let me do it, this is over here. I have to keep turning this back and forth because this won't swing around over this, I don't think. But anyway, this has to be used at a 90 degree angle or straight on like that to be accurate. If not, there's a formula you have to use to find out if it's like that, how much you're pulling. It's not 20 pounds anymore, it's something else. So I thought I'd show that because I've been using this for years on the Harley where I can't get in places, but I make sure 90 degrees or straight on. That's the only way you can use this adapter to be accurate. Anything in between, it's not going to be accurate. It's not going to be exactly where you want it. Even though you have this set, the way you're pulling on it, it is different. So I can put this, this is done. I can go set my throttle uh, cables. I'm going to fool with them get them set where I'm going to have no play in there and I'm going to back off the uh, carburetor set once it's done the stop on the carb throttles, the stop. I want just a cable to hold it. And then I'll study some more in the book, see if there's anything else I can check. If there isn't, I'm going to go ahead and put the computer in and try it and hopefully one of those do it. <laughs> Been working on it enough.